Hey everyone, I'm Darren Starr, owner and coach here at Five Star Physique. Today we're gonna to talk all about progress pictures, what you are doing wrong with them and how to fix them. I've got all kinds of examples lined up and we're gonna go over everything that you need to know um, to optimize your perspective and lighting. So let's get down to it. Let's face it. If you're like most people, then your progress pictures just suck. But there's a good reason why. And this is no judgment on you or your quality as a human being, but let's face it, you're a terrible photographer. We can fix it though. So there are four main points that we need to consider. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Point number one pose to showcase progress. If you aren't posing or flexing in your progress pictures, you're doing them wrong. Relaxed shots are going to do very little to showcase small changes in conditioning or development over a short period of time. Uh, when a muscle is under tension or it's flexed, those changes are much more evident. Uh, if I drop 20 pounds, my relaxed shots are gonna look a little different. Um, my flexed shots, on the other hand, are going to look dramatically different. And when you're trying to showcase small changes in your progress from one week to the next, you've got to give yourself every possible advantage. Now, for specific poses, stick with quarter turns. These are bodybuilding or figure quarter turns. Even if you are not competing or you're competing in a division that doesn't use those quarter turn poses, practice them anyway. If you want to know why, why it's important to work on those poses and how to hit them, check the link that I have to my blog post down in the description below. Point number two, consistency. We want as many things to be as consistent in your progress pictures from week to week so that there's really only one variable and it's the one that we really care about, you. We want to see changes in your body and your physique from week to week, not necessarily changes in your environment or your surroundings. So what exactly do we need to be consistent? Well, first, as we just mentioned, poses. Practice those quarter turns regularly, hit them, perfect them, and hit them the same way each week. Second, clothing. Always wear the same stuff. Different tops, different bottoms. Uh, they're going to cover more or less of your body and they're gonna push around any little squishy bits that you still have in different ways. So it's important to be consistent with what you wear from one week to the next. Uh, women will often ask, should I take off my top for back shots? And the answer truthfully is, it doesn't matter. Just be consistent with what you do with that. As we'll discuss in a moment, we wanna be as reliant on natural lighting as we possibly can. And while we can't control the weather, you can, just by taking your um, progress pictures at the same time of day routinely, you can at least give yourself every advantage to have relatively similar lighting conditions from one week to the next. Now, if you are like a normal human being and you work during most of the daylight hours, take your progress pictures on a weekend or on a day off. Um, even if you send your progress pics to a coach in the middle of the week, like Wednesday or Thursday, personally, as a coach, I would rather get progress picks that are a few days stale than ones that are taken indoors with terrible lighting conditions where I can't really see anything that's happening there. Um, the other thing with timing is uh, don't fall into the trap of feeling like you have to take your progress pictures on an empty stomach. Of course, when you do that, if you take them first thing when you wake up, typically lighting conditions aren't going to be great. So get a couple meals in you, take your progress pictures when there's good light, when you can hit them consistently at the same time from week to week, and just be consistent with how many meals you have in you each week. Finally, location. Now, if you can take your progress pics against a clean, uncluttered background, great. But first and foremost, we need to be in a location that has good lighting. So be consistent with your location. If there's stuff in the background, that's fine. Try to minimize it as best you can, but always use the same spot. Point number three, perspective. Now this is an easy one, but yet it's very commonly messed up. So what we need to do is just ensure that the camera can see all of you and it can see mostly just you. What I don't need to see is a bunch of the floor in front of you or a bunch of the wall behind you or the ceiling above you. I need to see you. So um, I also don't need it to be pulled back so far that you look like a tiny little poach, postage stamp size figure in the middle of the room. That's not helpful. You can't see any detail that way. Um, avoid doing anything that skews the perspective. So don't put your phone or camera on the ground and point it up at you so you look like a giant and don't have your very tall spouse or significant other take it from eye level looking down on you so you appear to be about two and a half feet tall. Both of those are going to skew the perspective. They're going to make it very difficult to make judgment calls about your overall aesthetic balance. So get a tripod, set it up at waist height and uh, align it so that it's looking up at your head and down at your feet. You don't need a ton of room for this. So I know a lot of people work in fairly cramped spaces. Uh, I'm six foot tall. If I put a tripod at waist height about four feet in front of me, that's enough to see everything from head all the way down to my feet. Point number four, 
lighting. This is the big one. So good lighting can make you look awesome and bad lighting can make it look like you've never set foot inside the gym before in your life. So remember these three key words, light the subject. Identify your light source, whatever it is. A really bright light, large windows, the sun is great, and position your camera or your phone between it and you. Uh, if you are indoors, realize what the worst case scenario is, and that's overhead incandescent lighting and eight foot ceilings. A short ceiling like that, which is standard in most houses, just doesn't give any room for light to bounce around. You're gonna get terrible shadows, you're gonna look awful. So if you have LED lighting, that's a step up. If you have taller ceilings, that's also a step up. Failing that, your best bet is one of two things. First, there is a doorway trick that you can use, and all this does is it forces you to define two very clear spaces, one that is dark and one that is light. So outdoors is light, and anything indoors is going to be dark relative to that. So position your camera in the light space, the outdoor space, stand in the doorway with the dark room behind you. Play around with the positioning there a little bit. You'll be able to get a decent shot that way. However, if you can do that, just go outside. Use the sun, take progress pics in natural light. Identify where the sun is overhead and position your phone or camera, again, between you and it. Lighting the subject using the sun, the biggest light there is. So uh, play around with your distance and spacing a little bit. Understand that if you step a foot forward or a foot back, um, closer to the camera, further away, if you ch change the positioning of your camera as well, you're gonna get some different looks there. So the big thing to remember is that lighting is great until you've got too much of it. So always take photos photos, look at them and evaluate and say, is that really what I look like? Or is that a little too flattering? Or is that a little unflattering? Just be fair, be honest, and don't be afraid to try and switch positions around and get a few different examples. So the uh, place where I take my progress pictures is actually in our basement. It's unusual in that it has 10 foot ceilings and it has a really huge windows. So if I get too close to those windows, however, following that too much lighting is a bad thing rule, uh, I get washed out. So I get about 10 feet away from those windows. So you can see that in the progress picture here. Um, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with this, it's good. Um, I'm not equally lit though. My left side is well lit, my right side is in shadow, so it's not ideal, but it works. So to recap, we covered the four main points to consider when trying to improve your progress pictures. Uh, there's posing, consistency, perspective, and lighting. Now, taking progress pictures typically isn't anybody's favorite aspect of bodybuilding, but hopefully with these tips, uh, the quality of your photos will improve and you'll be able to see some more of that progress that you're working for. So, if you like this video, click the like button down below, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for future updates, share it with your friends. I'd love that, I'd appreciate it. So, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.